Hello, my name is Pete Grobler and I am the illustrator of this book, Coyote's Soundbite, which was written by John Agard. This is the story of the earth goddesses who arranged a conference, invited all the animals, so that they could talk about the fact that humans are really not looking after the earth as well as they should. I've chosen to illustrate Oridua, who is one of the earth goddesses from Africa. That's her sitting on an elephant. So the technique that I used here is called collage. It's a mixture of cutouts with drawing. The reason why I really love to use collage is the fact that we use pieces of paper. Nothing goes to waste. I use old pieces of paper like these ones, as you can see. I had this lovely piece of blue. With a blue stick, I'm going to stick it down to my canvas paper there but i actually wanted green because this is in the forest so there's no reason why i can't add a little bit of green like that we can add more later then i'm going to draw Oridua. she is a tall lady i make her feet like that the bottom of her dress there's her toes. She's wearing a very long dress all the way up straight. It's quite easy to do, you'll see. And then her shoulders, the neck, shoulders. This arm I'm going to raise because she's going to hold a bird on her finger. That arm going down like that and then a neck and a, a face is the shape of let's say an egg almost two-thirds of an egg then we end it there then we give her a lovely hat going out like that then we focus on her features her nose I'm going to start there in the middle draw the line upwards all the way to her hat, then her eyes, and a friendly smiling mouth. She's looking up like that. Eyebrows, ears, she loves earrings, she loves bangles on her arms and her ankles, like that. What the was dress is green, but it also has some of the fruit from the kola nut tree on it, and that is red. So here and there, I'm going to make red dots like that, and there her head is like her pet, uh, her hat is like that, it's a red band with stripes like that. Okay, and then the dress has to be green, and there for that I'm going to use combination of markers, felter pens like that, it's a little bit like the forest, and then another green, I oh, know that's purple, dark black, doesn't matter, but I do think I want green leaves like that, you see it's quite easy, one, two, three, one, two, three, few more on the hat as well. Okay, I think that's good for her dress. Now I want to quickly color her in. For this I use gouache, which is a kind of um, watercolor paint, but it dries quicker. That's one of the reasons why I really like it. Arm, the neck, and a wash for the face. Later on, I will add her lips and her cheeks once this is a little bit drier. Give some shade, keep it darker on the one side of her face. Oh, she needs hair, of course, but her hair is tucked in underneath her hat. 
That's it. I think she, think she looks lovely. Now I want to show you how we can make trees. This is very simple. I have these pieces of paper that I already had. This I created in a really crazy way like that. And you can add whatever way you want it to go. So more green, more blue. You get the idea. But let's do the tree trunk first. Okay. I want it more or less that length. So I'm going to turn it around. That way, it's always a surprise to see what you get. So these are one of those thorn bushes that you often get in Africa. It looks a bit like that. Nothing needs to be too precise. The lovely thing about collage is that we have all these surprises. You know there's black on the other side, but you know, don't know exactly what you're going to get. It's also not too important to cut too neatly because you can change whatever you like later on. And I also think one should not be too nervous when you make art. It's more important that you really enjoy the process. That way you create your best work that's really spontaneous and free. As you can see it's quite simple. Roughly cut the branches there like that. Whoopsie. Okay. Oh, there we have a tree. And the, another beauty about collage is you can place it anywhere. You can make it and then think what is going to look the best for my composition. Okay, doing it like that. And now I know I roughly need that kind of shape. Okay, let's turn it upside down. That's more or less the shape that I want for the leaves. And I know vaguely what it's going to look like, but I don't know exactly. And that is one of the beauties of collage. Always the element of surprise. I cut the foliage like that, sort of an umbrella or a canopy of the tree. Okay, I think that's going to work well. You know what? I'm going to just glue the tips, upper end of the branches, so this can stick onto that. Brace it a little bit. Okay, now I want to think what's going to look best here. There, now then we mask her hand, I don't want that. So I want it there, perhaps there, cut it off outside of the picture, a little bit like that. Yes, I think that's a good one. So then I glue it. With the glue stick. Like that. Like a, what have we decided? There on the edge of the page, a bit like that, yes. Okay. It's getting there. Now I think it needs a little bit of a shade there. Perhaps there as well. And I mentioned that I wanted a bird. So let's have a bird. Simple shape like that. An eye. A beak like that. There's little feet there. Okay, I'm happy with my bird. And I just want to give her red lips. A little bit of a blush on her cheeks, a little bit darker on this side, a little bit more hair, perhaps a few more leafy shapes like that. Oh, I, I'm going to give the bird a cola nut and a leaf in its mouth. Perhaps this needs to be a bit more greener. You see you can also draw on top of this and even there with a leafy plant. And another one there. Okay, I'm happy with that. I hope you are too, and I hope you had fun 
This is a lovely technique to use old materials and create something new with it.